Welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters. So, we were discussing hardware design. So, in this lecture let us uh, get uh, familiar with uh, some of the components uh, that are used in power converters. Now, many of the components that are used in power electronic converters uh, by now in the course uh, we have looked into it the power semiconductor devices, uh, heat sinks, magnetics, your inductors and transformers, uh, then capacitors, EMI filters uh, all of it uh, we have looked into. Now, uh, let us look into some of the other components uh, that are used in power converters. So, uh, mostly you will be having uh, associated uh, control circuits and miscellaneous uh, sensing circuits uh, that will be there as part of different sections of your power electronic converters apart from just the power electronic circuit. So, there uh, we will be needing small values of R, L and C and uh, various uh, miscellaneous ICs. So, uh, these ones uh, like your small resistors this everybody is uh, familiar with. Uh, so, this is uh, going to be used is very much used in your uh, um, power electronic converter boards. Uh, for different purpose uh, is especially your uh, uh, the electronic circuits, the miscellaneous electronic circuits that are required for your control um, and sensing of your power electronic converters. And small uh, inductors and capacitors. So, uh, what uh, uh, we see here that uh, these are the traditional components and uh, these have, uh, um, have got uh, leads uh, uh, at their two ends. And uh, when we want to put them on a PCB that is a printed circuit board, so we have to have two holes uh, in it. So, that means uh, when we want to put it, so there will be two holes and through uh, which if let us say if we have to put this capacitor, this capacitor is going to go into and uh, this is your uh, going to be the board. So, that is why these are called as your uh, through hole components or uh, the packaging is called as the through hole packaging. And uh, uh, when we use ICs uh, there also uh, if we go for this through hole package. So, there are different sizes in which uh, they are manufactured. So, it is a P dip DIP uh, then your this TO 220 this package and then there are TO18. So, there are di various different uh, packages. So, package if, if we have to understand in, in very simple way it is it's like whatever your uh, component is uh, in what package, uh, what kind of casing, what kind of leads uh, it, it comes into that that is your package. And uh, when it is uh, obtained in this manner where you have got the leads coming out or which uh, when you have to solder it into the PCB. So, you have to have put holes uh, on it and you have to solder it from the back side uh, means opposite to the side on which the component is placed. So, that is your through hole and uh, in that uh, for different ICs and different components uh, different types of through hole packagings are, are uh, there. Then Next uh, type of uh, package is your uh, SMD surface mount devices. Now, uh, this is uh, relatively newer than the through hole packaging. Uh, so, uh, uh, for example, uh, these are your SMD resistors. Now, these are very small, small um, your components much smaller than the through hole uh, packaging in which your any component comes. Now, uh, we are moving towards miniaturization, we want everything to be very small and compact and so SMD packages they help us in making it small and compact because they are much smaller than the uh, through hole uh, package. Further, you do not need uh, the holes in the PCB that means you do not have to place the component on one side and uh, may create the holes in the PCB and solder the component from the other side. That means, both the sides are uh, then utilized uh, or uh, captured uh, uh, by the by one component when you are using a through hole device. 
Whereas when we use an SMD device, uh, it is like you just have to stick it uh, by the solder to that surface is of the PCB and the other side of the PCB can be used for placing other components or for routing or, or uh, any other purpose. So, uh, if we are not able to get the picture, so it is let us say this is the SMD component. Uh, so, what we do is we place it like this and here uh, this is, is on these two sides it is soldered. So, you do not have to have any holes and uh, your other side of the PCB that uh, need not be th that is uh, not utilized by the one particular component that you are soldering on another side. Now, this uh, way not only comes for resistor for capacitors also but there are SMD you can see that these are your electrolytic SMD caps. For small values only relatively small values only your SMD can be manufactured for when uh, the ratings become higher then it is not possible to uh, have SMD package then you have to go for uh, your through hole packaging that is why most of your power uh, semiconductor devices they come in your through hole package and not in your SMD packaging. And in the SMD also there are different packaging that means the dimensions are different. Now, here you can see that, that, that this one is an 1825 SMD package. This is the dimension 4.5 into 6.4. Here the height is not mentioned um, only this, uh, this surface uh, the is mentioned that dimension is mentioned. And uh, if you compare it uh, with this one 1806 uh, here you can see that it is 4.5 into 1.6 that means uh, this is further smaller. So, uh, different uh, packagings are there. So, how small and compact you want uh, you can choose the SMD package accordingly. And uh, these are your SMD inductors you can see that some of these uh, inductors are SMD inductors. And uh, your, these are also your SMD inductors and these are your diodes, SMD diodes and uh, then these SMD transistors and uh, then these are your other uh, regulator ICs which are also SMD. So, many of the electronic components are now available in your um, SMD packaging and in SMD also the various different packages are there in them also they are uh, uh, manufactured. And uh, for your ICs that we uh, use in um, electronic boards, uh, they also your uh, these uh, SMD packagings um, are there. Here some of the pictures are shown your uh, this SOT 23, SOT 223 and further several other packages that are shown and here and again some more packages of uh, this uh, surface mount technology for your ICs are, are shown here. Uh, depending on how large uh, or uh, small you want to make, how much space you have, you can decide the package of the IC that you need. So, important thing to note down is that when you go into the data sheet, you should be looking for uh, the uh, package that you need uh, and what are the packages in which the IC is or the component is, uh, is manufactured by the uh, manufacturer uh, because not all packages uh, may be provided by the manufacturer few different packages uh, may of the same component may be available. And then when you design the PCB then you should be careful that you uh, put the footprint of the same package and not uh, the other. So, this matching is very important you should have the information of not only the component that uh, you need, but also uh, the component and which package is what you are going to use in your uh, board. Now, uh, resistors uh, this uh, of course, in your electronic boards uh, we need a lot in analog circuits and different se uh, sensing circuits that you may be using at se several other places you may be needing these kind of small, small resistors. And resistors you may be already knowing that uh, they are uh, there various different types of uh, resistors that are available will not be uh, uh, going into it you can read on your own if you are interested in all that. Now, the important uh, specifications of resistor that uh, 
you sh should be knowing is that uh, 1 is the value of the resistance. means how much ohm value you need and uh, then you should know the tolerance uh, means uh, can you tolerate uh, plus minus 5 percent of the value that you need or plus minus 10 percent or plus minus 1 percent how much is the uh, change in the resistance value that uh, can happen that is usually given uh, by the uh, when the resistor is uh, specified. And then uh, um, the next thing is the, the wattage rating or the power rating means do you need half watt resistor or 1 watt resistor, 5 watt resistor, what is the power uh, rating of the resistor that you require. It is basically associated with your I square R losses, how much current will be passing through that resistor and how much I square R losses will be happening that you should be aware of and uh, then you should be choosing uh, the resistor of the correct wattage. So, these are the three important uh, specifications for your resistors. So, the key points of uh, this uh, lecture are that, that there are different packages for uh, the same component and uh, each package has got different dimensions. So, if you have two, dif two three different types of uh, packages in which the uh, component is uh, being manufactured, so those three different packages will have three different dimensions. And uh, you should uh, choose uh, the package um, what you need and uh, then be careful to use the same one in your board. Thank you. Thank you.